what is going on my everythings it is your girl janiqua a and i am back with another plant video so as you can see the bamboo plant won the poll for the most votes all right so i'm so excited you guys chose this plant all right because this plant is so much more than just good luck all right so we are about to get into the bamboo meaning the symbolism how it could guide you, the strength, the longevity, and the growth of this plant. Okay, so, you know, the beauty of the bamboo is that it is one of the most fastest growing plants on the motherfucking planet. And one of the cool things about this plant, all right, meet sage again in motherfucking universe. Okay, they are twin bamboo plants and they thrive together. They are very simple like they don't require much they are very adaptable to the environment you know what i'm saying but the it's like has a a, a closed base all right where nothing can really infiltrate the hollow part of the stem all right and that's very very beneficial for protecting the inner parts and the inner layers that is very, really, really important for this plant to thrive, all right? It really, really helps from soil decay and mold. It helps from um, bacteria and just a lot of things that would normally cause a regular plant to rot and stuff like that. And it also depends on its roots. You know, look at my baby roots, all right? You want to see the roots bright orange, you know, wet, you know, if you have it in water, you know what I'm saying? One of the things that I can tell you is that I never, ever, ever use regular water. I use Poland Spring, like bottled water. I don't ever, like, run um, things from the faucet. And that's just because if I don't drink it, I'm not going to give it to my plants. Because you got to remember, any plant, anything, especially a plant that you choose to bring in your house, remember that it's living. Remember that it is a living being and it needs certain assistance from you to help it thrive along with giving you all of the magic magical properties it has naturally all right so again a lot of things can be used with bamboo, uh, bamboo construction medicine again clothing all right and it's honored around the world because of it's symbol of strength. If you need any kind of strength, if you, you know, because even the, the holiest of them, of them all sometimes wake up on the wrong side of the bed or just need a little bit, uh, a little inspiration or a little bit just of strength. Get this plan. It's it, it, it automatically provides you that because it needs to sustain itself through different environments all right it was built for harnessing strength from it all right and despite it it may look delicate right it may look like if i snap i could easily snap it it may look like it's hollow but i cannot press into it so it gives like don't judge a book by its cover like you guys are very strong and if you want to feel more empowered, you talk through it, you touch it, you act, it's alive. All right, look, it's thriving, okay? It's a symbol of strength, and again, it's hard to break. One of the, this, you know, the bamboo plants, first of all, is one of the strongest plants there is. Google it, all right? And the bamboo is so strong because of its flexibility all right and it even makes for a great alternative when it comes to using building materials you can even consider it to be stronger than steel that's strong y'all so from construction to building furniture with bamboo to even building roads all right not only does it grow upright with all of the power imaginable, but the way the bamboo plant grows depends, again, on the interconnectedness of the root system.
It relies on a root system because, again, the base is closed. So, this means that the solid base that I just showed you, that helps the bamboo thrive along, you know, again, preventing from soil rot because that's one of the main things that will fuck up your plant along with overwatering and stuff like that is pests and stuff. The bamboo, it's so convenient. It's so convenient. Along with it producing back to the environment. We'll get to that. All right, but it's a resource to the environment. It's stunning. And when you look at the bamboo, it literally should remind you that with a solid foundation and roots, you could rise. You could connect. You could build a community that gives back to the world rather than constantly taking and taking and taking. A lot of you guys are being called to position to lead a new community. Get the plant. The plant is going to assist you with strength. Photosynthesis is like you are a plant too. Start valuing, you know, your bamboo plants more. Talk to it. Love it. Because if y'all looking for flexibility, get the plant. Because it is a strong symbol of flexibility. Bamboos is special. You know what I'm saying? For so many things. But although it's strong, although it's capable, you know, you're not supposed to put it in such harsh conditions where you're forcing it to be fierce. You're forcing it to be flexible. You know what I'm saying? That's just like everybody go through things. So just because we become strong, just because we became aware, just because we are able to withstand certain things, does that mean that we should go through it constantly? You shouldn't go through pain. You shouldn't go through things that need you to be strong all the time. You should just want to be that because you are thriving, because you are cared for. And it's, it's simple. Again, you know, getting a bamboo plant, it's also a symbol of simplicity. Being simple, a little goes a long way. If you're trying to, if you're trying to harness the power of accepting yourself, if you're trying to harness the power of accepting how God made you and that you are going to thrive, because you were uniquely made, the bamboo plant is going to give you all of that. All right? The symbol of simplicity and still continuing to grow. Because again, it's in water. It's in a nice vase. All right? It gets a, 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 a nice bit of lighting. But you don't got to do too much and it's going to thrive. Just off of the simple things by talking to it. Just off of the simple things by giving it good water. Everybody think it's soil. Everybody think it's stuff. It be simple things that will get your plant to grow and it needs attention, y'all. Because, again, it's providing you all of this strength unconsciously. This is what it's supposed to do. But you need to provide it an area that it can thrive in or do certain things and commit. To it thriving. It's like an even exchange because the plant is living. So again, it's a huge symbol of simplicity and continuous growth. Again, little goes a long way. You don't got to do too much to grow and to, to keep growing. You, you, you just got to... You got to be aware of your conditions. You got to be aware of your environment. All right, you also got to be adaptable. So, again, bamboos are a big symbol of growth. It grows, it grows, it grows, and it never stunts until you cut it because you can see the base. All right, it is also very simple and, and it doesn't consume necessary energy from the universe. 
You know what I'm saying? Again, this way the good stuff comes at. Because now, I bet you didn't know that the um, the bamboo, not only does it provide good luck, but it literally is a proven fact that it works hard for the environment around it. It literally gives back to the environment, the space, the pets, wherever you put it at is going to give back. And you know how? Because instead of taking from the environment where you place it at, it's actually giving back by sucking up all the motherfucking negativity. All of the neg negativity that was around your abundance, that was around your stability and your strength, if you felt like your security froze, harness the bamboo plant. So that means, you know, make sure the space is clean. Make sure you're doing the proper things to give it the right environment because it's literally giving back to not only you. It's giving back to the, the community, uh, the, the, the area, excuse me, that it's in, your pets, again, any living thing that you have in your house, wherever you put this plant, it is going to consume, without a doubt, negative energy and transmute it. Because that's what it's prone to do. It literally soaks up negativity that's blocking you. And you know, one of the cool things is that it eats up and leaves no motherfucking crumbs when it comes to carbon dioxide. And it takes the carbon dioxide and it pumps out plenty of oxygen. So this commitment, you know what I'm saying, to creating a good environment from a plant, from a plant, a plant that is exuding off positive vibration and can become a magnet of good luck, of beauty and abundance. If you're looking for those things, welcome. Plenty of bamboo plants to your world, okay? It kills all the motherfucking negative vibes. And it keeps the air around you feeling fresh, feeling motivated, both spiritually and physically, y'all. So, strength, stability, flexibility, simplicity, honor the bamboo plant. If you got your bamboo plant just sitting there, don't worry. Everybody used to have that. But this is awareness. This plant is literally honored on a daily. If you know how to use it, it's not just a statement piece. It provides good luck, yes. It is a big symbol, but it gives you so much more. You're not crazy. You don't, you, don't, you don't have to feel crazy if you talk into the plant. The plant is literally literally alive, and it will die if you do not take care of it. I'm pretty sure you see your plants. The plants that you didn't really take care of, well, some do thrive, all right? But... I don't care if you can thrive. You still want attention. You still want to be talked to. Alongside it soaking up all of your motherfucking negativity. All right. Literally transmuting carbon dioxide to pure purified oxygen. Just like the um, aloe vera. Okay. So it, you know. Get the uh, get the um, bamboo plant. It's strength. It's it's growth. It's sustainability. It's like you are a jack of a jack of all trades, just like the bamboo. All right, you are not meant to just be used for one thing. You you are so much more. You could be used for so much more. You could you could offer so much more. And it's the simple things. That allow you to grow. It is the simplicity of life. That allows you a peace of mind. 
that allows you to be able to think and be creative. All right. It is the flexibility that one needs to adapt to certain situations that we are put in, being able to learn how to be uncomfortable in certain situations. All right. And still thriving. All right. Um, and strength. You know, if you're talking about longevity, get you a bamboo. All right. Start doing research. Start literally learning why it's being honored. And, you know, it's an ancient plant, y'all. If you're talking about ancestors, all right, this plant is one of the ancient, the most ancient plants. And people just use it for good luck. So I'm so excited that you guys chose this plant. I really, really hope this video helped you guys. And just, you know, I know it probably wasn't so much, but the information was enough, was enough for you to honor the plant more. You know what I'm saying? And realize that it's actually giving back. Giving back to the environment. Wherever you put this plant, it is going to work for the environment by snatching up all stagnant energy. So if you put it at your workplace, expect to feel energized, ex expect to get downloads, expect to just be filled with so much vigor, stability, um, strength. Okay, um, I love you guys. And then I'll have a poll to see what plant y'all want me to do next. All right, so I love you guys and I'll see you later.